Aries, what's going on? Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. Um, so welcome here to my channel. I'm getting ready to do your May 2021 mid-month tarot card reading. And sometimes Lacey perks up and it makes me a little bit uncomfortable. Like, oh, someone's in the basement, you know. But anyway, I think I'm okay, but <laughs> we'll just roll the dice. I'm going to keep going. May mid-month tarot card reading for Aries in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So I talk about that sun, moon, rising, and Venus, um, you know, because for me, I'll watch my sun and my moon, all right? Uh, so if sun isn't resonating for me, especially depending if there's a full moon or a new moon, your moon sign might resonate more, all right? So I'm going to use a Starman tarot card deck. I have a little fluffy hair here. Oh my God, it's just, just, you know tickling uh so i guess i could have gone on a pause for that but you guys know me so it's okay so starman tarot card deck i'm rambling this is the second reading i looked up and saw 110 so look up angel number 110 for you guys after the read it's going to be really powerful anyway guys i'm going to start because here i go again on my own um present situation <laughs> oh that's not what you want for an Aries okay so you're moving forward life is moving on despite your be best efforts to freeze it and move back look at this look at where you are here with the prince of pentacles this what is it called steampunk horse is moving forward regardless of where you are on your journey of memory lane. Uh, I'm just going to write that down. But instead of facing forward and grabbing the pommel, I don't even think there's a saddle on here. Just so you guys know, I did ride in the Junior Olympics when I was, you know, in junior high school and I won a blue ribbon. But anyway, so instead of looking forward in anticipation, there's still this lingering... reminiscent you know looking back well why can't that come back again and instead of being able to detect what could be possible for your future you've decided to put up this great big ghetto blaster slamming your favorite tunes so that you don't have to have any sort of invitation reach you i'm hearing a voice in my head it's one of my guides, don't worry. It's not like I'm going to have some <laughs> episode. <laughs> so, I mean, you basically close the door to your future. Okay, so we saw some really amplified reading for Aries. It's like everything was right on track. I was getting a lot of train analogies for you guys. I think that was analogies that I was supposed to say. And you guys got off the train. And now you're at procrastination station. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> <Hold on. laughs> wow. Okay, I cracked myself up. So you're at procrastination station, but it looks like the tunes are really good. Okay, so I mean, at least you're jamming man. <laughs> Let's have a look at your cause of conflict. The future. Man, it's ready to explode for you guys, okay? So this is, this is Aries energy. The eight of fire. It's ready to, to launch. What's next? What's next? What's next? You know? Somehow, you've chosen a cloak of despair instead of that energy, you know? You're really at odds with yourself right now, Aries. This is the energy that is going to take you there, wherever it is that you want to go. Um, just really next level, like next stratosphere. Like, But instead of that, you're quietly putting up your own blockades. Nobody has to do it for you, okay? Because the past is so much more comforting 
Wow, I just got massive chills. Woo! Okay. Okay. We got a new guide coming in here, you guys, and they just blew the door down. Wow. Holy smokes. Okay, so this, these are the words that I got here. I have to write this down. Okay, I just had an introduction, all right? This has never happened to me before, at least not on, not on film. Um, I got the words that the God of Mercury has just arrived, okay? I don't know who that is. I, I, I'm too, like... So who's the God of Mercury? I'm going to look that up after the reading, okay? So they've come in to lend their advice because they see Aries sort of lollygagging on the path, okay? At Procrastination Station. Wow, that was amazing. So, okay, changes needed in order to face your challenges. You got to slay them down, okay? this is There's no more time for you to sweet talk yourself. Five of Swords, you know? Oh, you're coming in to tell me I don't have what it takes. I don't have the guts. The past was better for me. Whatever it is, like, to get yourself back on the train. Like, you have to do that. The five of swords. The change is needed. Start fighting for yourself, Aries. Like, there's just this edge of being a little bit too comfortable where you are and even more comfortable with your memories, okay? So could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius coming in to sort of, all right, you know, a little bit too romantic over there, Aries, you know. So your life is continuing on. Which way do you want to face? Do you want to face the rear view or the windshield? Okay, I have one of these going on, so hold on. Um, God of Mercury, wow extremely powerful energy and like I, I could see him like kick the door open and sort of like all right you know amazing your strengths right now you've got the four of pentacles so man you guys <clears throat> Okay, so the Four of Pentacles really indicates some sort of lack, but I want you guys to look at the duality in this card, okay? So this face here, it's like it's together, but it could be separate. It's almost like you're going to have to sacrifice a, a bit of yourself to move forward. Ugh, what kind of an example is that? I just got this, you know, in the case of where people have like a, a necrosis of their body and they have to cut that body part off. I'm really sorry. This is what I'm getting. In order for the rest of the body to survive, there's something that needs to be sliced from you. And you should be cold enough. You should be ruthless enough to be able to take this five of swords, which is probably why you were given these swords here, because they're literally hacking something down. And unfortunately, and I'm not talking about body harming, okay? I'm talking about a romanticism, uh, over romanticism of the past that leaves you lingering there when you should be barreling forward on your steampunk horse. So the four of pentacles, your strength has to be where you see what is no longer working for you. And this, when you look at this mask, it, it kind of, it changes from one face to two and one face from to two. Maybe that's just me because I have this psychic ability to see things, but being able to detect that in, in yourself is crazy. It just keeps doing it. Is that happening for anybody else? Well, you got to let me know. So seeing what is holding you back. And then there's a third head over here. I've honestly never even noticed that before. I think I've had this deck for three years now. 
And here's your new guide coming in. You know, you can ask them their name, but you can definitely call on the God of Mercury because he's obviously here to help Aries. So it's time to start giving, stop giving yourself comfort to remain in the past, that everything's okay. Hey, we're really comfortable here. We're going to stay in our bubble. Get off the platform, okay? So I'm going to pull an outcome card for you guys. This is crazy cards. Like, come on. <laughs> the five of wands. Great. Okay, so now you have this. The five of wands. It looks like everybody's fighting, but are you going to join this fight? And the question right now is that, yes, you're going to have to start fighting again for your life. Um, five of swords, five of wands. This is angel number five five so you might want to check that out you might also want to check out if there's a spirit guide related to angel number five five so you can get their power in here for you um something has to shift and you have to shift it aries uh there's a bigger destiny for you your destiny does not lie in your past okay and this is definitely what i'm seeing here um there's a certain bit of uh complacency that has like, you know, gotten really, like I said before, comfortable. Um, and particularly for people that have had really sad, heartbreaking incidents, you know, to stay there and keep on revisiting it. What was that show, Black Mirror? Where that, that lady, like her, her husband or fiance passes away and I just saw angel number 1155. So she orders a complete replica of him, but it's never the same. It's hollow. And then she ends up hiding him in the attic. I, that's what you guys are doing right now. You're kind of hiding up in the attic with the ghost of your past. Oh, that's heartbreaking, Aries. So I'm going to pull one more card here for you. So here's the Ace of Wands. So like you really just got to kickstart it here call on these angels that i've been seeing here god of Mer mercury i can't wait to do a little search on that um ace of wands this is you guys the kickstarter the fire starter who sang that song prodigy um you know you want to maybe listen to stuff like that too to start keying you up to look at your future this is ideas from the universe from your gods your angels like, here's your choice, you know, ace of wands, sad sack, you know, you're not meant to be a sad sack. Very powerful reading for you. Um, lots of opportunity to receive messages from new guides here for you. And I'm going to wrap up and go get a visual on God of Mercury because, wow, he really like erupted my world. So guys, I'm going to peace out. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.